we mow, we use our DeWalt professional trimmer because don't get the homeowner one from like Lowe's or somewhere because it's just not the same. You want that higher grade mower. But we mow for a few reasons and it's not just aesthetics. We have to worry about snakes around the hives. They like to live in and around and we have black racers and we do have cottonmouths. Thankfully I've only seen one in years. Black racers, all kinds of snakes, rats, mice, these are things that can get in and around the hive and perhaps invade the hive. And we also have lots of dragonflies and other bugs that will sit right on the high grass around the hive and prey on the bees. So you can't stop that, but I don't have to give them a perch to then invade or grab whoever may be flying. So in the spring, we basically don't mow until the flower bloom around the hives is over and they've really gotten a good start. But as these rains come in, the grass goes from, you know, three inches to six inches to three feet high. And you've got to open up that airflow in and around the hives because it does start to encroach and make things hotter. Now, if I had them on concrete, I know my grass, is, even with high grass, is the hives are much cooler than if they're on any type of artificial surface and the mowing though will open up more airflow both in and around the hive so it's not just for aesthetics it really is a necessary event but it's also one that as you're doing it my heat index in this past three weeks has been anywhere from 100 to 120. So with the heat index, just make sure you stay hydrated and you take your breaks so that your bees have you for years to come. Okay. <laughs>
just moments after the weed eater went by them they're just back to hanging out none the worse for wear not a lot of dead bees really probably hardly anything but everything's opened up for them that's the electric trimmer
So there's a cleaned up apiary from knee deep grass to manageable. Opening up airways under the pallets. Cutting down any tall grass for dragonflies to sit on. And just overall keeping up appearances for any homeowner that may need to keep things nice and neat. Nice and cleaned up. Keeping, once the grass is very high, this is three feet tall. It closes off air, makes things super hot. Now I've got cleaned up aisles, pallets, critters that won't be able to hide. And there we go. A few notes. The weed eater that we eat, use is the battery operated. These are ant mounds, fire ant mounds. No, I don't take them down. I use them. They haven't been a problem for me. The biggest problem I have here is basically a termite that likes to eat the pallet and then the hive if I haven't moved them. The trimmer is an electric or battery operated trimmer. Definitely worth the money. And the difference being that while the bees don't like you trimming near them, they don't like that vibration. It's nothing like a gas trimmer. A gas trimmer, they follow you, they get on your suit. This, they pretty much just come out, see what's going on, and leave you alone. The gas trimmer, they follow you, they get on the trimmer, they get on you, and they try to kill you. Get an electric one, a lot of that stops. you like this satisfying video definitely satisfying to me see a yard cleaned up thanks for watching and happy beekeeping